Well, might feel like forever, but Tennessee football is finally back here inside Neyland Stadium. 3.30 kickoff, Tennessee and Florida. A lot of questions about the quarterback position. Early reports, at least from a national standpoint, Harrison Bailey is going to be getting his first start here for Tennessee. That's kind of what we expected coming in. Our own Jimmy Himes reported that Jared Garantano was the quarterback that was forced into quarantine mispractice last week. Return to practice this week, but it looks as if Harrison Bailey is going to get that nod. So what's that mean? I think the game plan will be a little bit more simple, trying to play to the strengths of Harrison Bailey. And if he makes some mistakes, I do think you will see a Garantano coming to this ball game today. But I think Tennessee is going to have to maybe a little bit more simple on the offensive end, but going to have to score some points. Florida's offense is scoring 43 points per game. If you want to keep up, if you want to keep pace in this game. Tennessee's got to run the ball effectively with Eric Gray like he did against Auburn and maybe build off that in the passing game, regardless if it's Harrison Bailey or Jared Garantano. On the other side, Cal Trask leading the nation, 34 touchdown passes. Uh, that's leading the nation by four. He's fifth in passer rating. Uh, I mentioned Florida's offense. you got a Heisman front runner in Cal Trask, maybe the best player overall in Cal Pitts, pacing that Florida offense. So the storyline's entering this one. It's the quarterbacks, maybe two for Tennessee, Kyle Trask, the Heisman frontrunner for Florida, and more on this matchup, we'll head on over to Vince Ferrara. Thanks, Eric. Tennessee and Florida. First time in 42 days, a home game at Neyland Stadium, and Eric talked about the quarterback battle. There's a lot of issues that Tennessee faces in this game. One thing to give Tennessee any sort of shot for those quarterbacks or even to win the game is the line of scrimmage. Tennessee really ran the ball well against Auburn in the last game. Eric Gray, a couple hundred yard games. He's been terrific. The problem is, is turning those into points. Can Tennessee finish off positive drives? And then the second half issues that have really plagued the Volunteers. Being outscored in the second half during this five game losing streak, 108 to 14. That has got to change today. And then we'll see what Tennessee does if they do fall behind big early. Do they get conservative, try to keep the margin of defeat down? Or do they open it up and maybe you see some quarterbacks that can do better in a, a short, uh, in a two minute offense type of approach. Line of scrimmage is going to be huge today. Jeremy Pruitt has struggled 0-8 against his big three rivals, Florida, Alabama, Georgia, and then at losing by an average score of 43-15. to We'll see if it all changes. No one needs a win more in the SEC right now than the Tennessee Volunteers. Home game between the two rivals, Florida and Tennessee here at cool Neyland Stadium. Sorry, no snow in December for those warm weather Gators. Enjoy the game. We'll be back afterwards for a recap and all of our content and post game interviews at 991thesportsanimal.com. For Eric Kane, I am Vince Ferrara. Thanks for watching our pregame. Enjoy the game. We'll talk to you later.